Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Gina of Gina Renee RM Budgets. I am a zero-based budgeter who utilizes the cash as well as the cashless envelope system to assist me on my journey to financial and debt freedom. If you're new here, I do videos all about saving money, be it using coupons, budgeting, meal planning, you name it. That's what this channel is about. So if that's the kind of content that you're interested in or you need to save some money, then stop. Press that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, just in case I post a video that's time sensitive or just so you can be first <laughs> and so you don't miss it and become part of my YouTube family. For today, I have a pretty big grocery haul. This is our monthly grocery haul. If you'll look back at my other videos, the last grocery haul, I really stocked up on meats. So I really didn't need a lot of meat this time. So I went to Kroger as usual. That's my A1 for saving money. So let's see what we got. Bear with me because you know everything is always mixed up. I put it up here all pretty, but it's not on the receipt that way. <laughs> so um, for starters, I did get myself some flowers back there, um, but that's not part of my grocery budget. That's part of spending. So we got Outshine Bar. Those were on sale for $2.99. Those are Kevin's favorite. There's a Edie's Chocolate Ice Cream. I put it in the freezer already on sale for $3.89. Then we got the Sargento Shredded Cheeses here. They are on sale, three dollars each, and then I had a dollar off two coupons. And the Purdue chicken back here, the tenders, strips, whatever, they were eight forty nine. All that kind of stuff is super high, you guys. Then we got some Kroger sausage. Oh, right here, the smoked sausage. Sorry about my lighting, but the smoked sausage they were two for six dollars. So we got two packs of those. Then we got this big, this big piece of salmon here, and it was 20 bucks. Private selection. These packs of ground beef on sale for $2.99. I did have a, a coupon for a dollar twenty off one, so I got one of them for a dollar seventy-nine. So I did get this Italian sausage. I get one bulk and one links. They're on sale for $2.99. The carnitas, right there, that's one of my favorites. I get a lot of heartburn, and so, oh, you all know how much we love Taco Tuesday, right? But Taco Tuesday be doing a number on your girl, okay, with the tomato products. But when I eat the carnitas, it's not so tomatoey, so it doesn't really give me bad heartburn. So I tend to get this and everybody else to eat regular tacos. Um, sorry, I got the sniffles, Tennessee Pride, sausages. I'm trying to go at an angle because I keep blocking the light. Those were $4 each. We got two. The Johnsonville sausages are underneath the Lynx. Those were $3.49, I think. $3.99. Then the, let me move this out the way. The potato skins back there were $6.99. The Simply Orange Juice here, $3.49. The Land of Lakes Butter, where's our butter? Right here, we got two, they were $3.49 each. The Philadelphia Cream Cheese here, $2.49 each. The Pillsbury Biscuits were $2.49 each, and I had a dollar off three coupon. The Shaved Beef, $6.99. Kevin wanted the pickles. We eat a lot of pickles, $4.99. Then the two pound bag of extra large shrimp, I think they're extra large, were $17.98, that's for two pounds. The Kroger bacon was on sale for $4.69. The Frito-Lay, this is a 18 count chips on sale for $8.49. But I had a coupon for $2.50 off. So that was a great deal. That was like $5.99 for this. 
the granola bars right in front one of them was free i had a kroger coupon to get one for free the other one was 2.79 the rice aronis were 89 cents each so i stocked up on those and the macaroni and cheese these are mostly like well this is mostly like a lunch maybe um 99 cents the al gratin potatoes i got two and they were 99 cents each the pepperidge farm cookies right here is for my banana pudding they were two for seven so i got them because they go fast and then these four packs of vegetables back here one is green beans and on the bottom is corn they were on sale 2.99 each uh, evaporated milk right here two for three dollars the small peas we love peas 99 cents the campbell's cream of mushroom and cream of chicken on sale for 89 cents so i got two cream of chicken and one mushroom the spinach a dollar 39 each those weren't even on sale but kevin grabbed those uh, the pineapples for Thanksgiving, $1.49 each. The ragu alfredo sauce, they are on sale for $1.79. And then I had a 75 off of one of them. So one of them was $1.04 and the other one was $1.79. Grapes right here. I think they were $1.99 a pound, so that was cost $4.70. The lemon juice back here was $0.99. Cent. Then my spices were $1.49 for the basil leaves. What else? Three, hold on. $3.29 for the sage. And the mustard was uh, $2.79 but we got the basil leaves for free because they were buy two get one free then we got this bag of pears $3.49 we got some taco seasoning the less sodium because they are so salty $1.25 each we got this big bag of four pounds of navel oranges were on sale for $1.99 I got one little bell pepper for $0.79 cent. we got a five pound bag of Russet potatoes for a dollar ninety-nine. The apples here, the gala apples were a dollar twenty-nine a pound. So we got about five in this bag for three dollars and four cent. This Kroger bread, I had a coupon for free bread, so I got that for free. It was two seventy-nine. And that's it. So we spent da -da -da -da, 235 235 for everything that you see here plus the ice cream that I have in the freezer so not great but not bad either I saved $86 and I got 247 fuel points so we did leave there and go fill up the car with gas I'll talk about that in my cash stuffing I'll try to put a meal plan up if I could do it fast enough before I post this video. We've been really bad, just being transparent, at sticking with a meal plan because it's just been so much going on. Me and Kevin, Kevin mostly got, you know, some more bad news and he has to have another big surgery. And so we've been kind of super stressed out and it's just affecting everything. So you guys just keep us lifted. But yeah, I'm gonna try to put a meal plan up that, and we're gonna actually stick to it because we were just talking about how we have to get back on track. So um, a lot of this stuff today is more lunch and snack type stuff because I was so loaded with meats and a lot of stuff I get just anything that Kevin likes to eat. I just get it, y'all, because I just want him to eat. <laughs> and so far, he did finish chemo, so praise God for that. He may have more chemo in his future, though. But for right now, he did complete six rounds of chemo, and I'm just grateful that he did not lose not one pound. You guys, 
six rounds of chemo, he never lost a pound. His weight is exactly the same as when he started. So between encouraging him to eat, making sure the things that he likes are available, um, glucernas <laughs> when he's not feeling the greatest, um, protein bars. I mean, we've done it all to help him maintain his weight and it worked. So I'm grateful for that. Um, blood count is still kind of suffering, but I'm going to do like a, a whole separate update because we're coming up on a year since Kevin started having symptoms. So I'm going to kind of do a story time, but I want to make it a different separate video just in case, you know, some of my subscribers strictly just want the cash stuffing, saving money types of things. But I feel like his story has a lot to do with our finances. <laughs> so I want to share it, but I'm going to make it separate. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the love, the support, the prayers, the grace, because I know I haven't been posting, but it's just a stressful time. So I do what I can when I can. You know, I love you guys so very much. And me and Kevin are so, so grateful for all of you, for your love, support. To Elisha, who spearheaded the Larry TKO challenge and donated her proceeds. To Christina from Supernatural Life, who did another challenge and she donated the proceeds from that. I'll have that in my cash stuffing video. But thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have supported my Etsy. I'm going to add new products probably today and tomorrow. I got more binders that are probably going to restock tomorrow or Monday at the latest. I'm going to really try for tomorrow. Um, what else? Thank you to those who have donated through Buy Me A Coffee, through Cash App, through PayPal, through Zelle. You name it, you guys have just been beyond amazing to us and we definitely appreciate it so with that being said and as always i wish you peace love and prosperity but most importantly overflow and abundance in jesus name amen bye for now